Hey guys, this is Adam, Burns Cadillac Chevrolet. Today we're going to take a look at a 2018 Chevrolet Volt. Um, now let me first preference this, that it first came out some years back and the starting price was about $40,000. Now you can get one loaded like this one for about approximately the same price. And you're going to see some few things that you're going to notice that's changed over the years. They've sloped it a little bit more, they've designed it differently in the front and back. Of course, a metallic front here for both these grills is designed to push the wind off, give you better gas mileage or electric mileage, uh, whichever one you're using at the time. It's got front parking sensors, um, for you know, parking and also for uh, pedestrian braking as well. We'll get to the hood, but let me state that this is an electric car that runs off electricity but also runs off gas and the happen chance that you run out of the electrical charge. Come around to the side, you'll notice it's got alloy wheels. Of course, this is the premier model, so it's going to have some nicer features such as a nice looking chrome finish on the door handles, keyless proximity entry, of course, is standard as well. And this is where the gas tank is. I'll get to where the electrical port is so you can see what it's like here in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to take a look at the trunk. Super slick backside. I talked about the skirts being black. The back on the uh, bumper here is black. It's got the rear parking sensors, um, similar to the front. It's got its own camera for uh, rear parking as well. You'll roll up here to the top. You'll notice some black finishing here along with the bolt. Um, symbol that's in the back and a nifty looking electrical bolt inside the V itself. I'm opening the trunk and we'll show you just how large the inside is because it is a hatchback. You got a lot of space. Underneath here, I don't have it. I'm not going to open it up, but I wish I had it. I can show you what the electrical cord looks like, um, but maybe we'll do a different video of that as well. The seats will fold down as well. We'll walk around. We're going to take a look at where the electrical port is on this vehicle. This is on the driver's side. You do not have to push anything besides right about here. It pops open, and you'll notice that it does have the electrical port for it. These can be found at most parks. You can find them at a lot of places, such as we have a local restaurant called The Pump House. There's several of those there. Um, you can also charge it at home. You can have one of the stations installed, or you can use the corded outlet that I was talking about earlier. Um, I'm going to pop the trunk, I'm going to pop the back doors, and we're going to take a look at it as well. In the back seat, you're going to notice that it's got perforated uh, leather seats. It's something that most people never talk about, and most people don't even notice, is the blue stitching. Um, it's indicative to what um, the electric cars have become. They're considered blue, so it's nifty that they put the stitching in there. It is not for three passengers in the back. One reason is, of course, the battery location. It's got heated seats in the back. It's also got a 12 volt adapter as well. A couple cup holders. It does have an armrest for your passengers um, and plenty of leg room. Guys, we're gonna come around through the front. We're gonna show you what the um, driver's side looks like. You're gonna notice that on the inside here is similar to most other models Chevrolet have. Leather wrap steering wheel. A lot of radio controls and audio controls is to your right. To your left is similar. Cruise control, your forward collision alert, and of course your lane keep assist on this particular model. It does have the heated steering wheel. Something that is different on a Volt, of course, is this digital screen. You're going to see that to the left is an acceleration grid, uh, and to your right is the battery grid. And you can change those to different modes of however you want to view uh, the Volt. Guys, this is an awesome vehicle. You can almost hear the George Jetson's theme song playing in the background. Come in, ask for Adam, find us on social media. Please let us know how we can do these videos better.